is equal to 1 plus cos of 2x. Okay, now guys, one of the things that you already see here is you're going to need an identity for cos of 2x. This is already a simplified trigonometric ratio, right? So an identity for cos of 2x, you know there are three identities. If I go back, cos of 2a, there's cos squared minus sine a, 2 cos squared minus 1, 1 minus 2 sine squared. I'm interested in one that's going to make my life easier. So I'm going to choose the one that involves sine because then I only have sine of x everywhere. Okay, so this is going to be 3 sine x is equal to 1 plus cos 2x, the identity with sine is 1 minus 2 sine squared x, right? And that's going to give me 1 plus 1 gives me 2 minus 2 sine squared x. Sorry, minus 2 sine squared x. Okay, um, right, is equal to 3 sine of x. Okay, so what I'm going to do over here is I'll try and take everything to one side. Bring that over, I've got 2 sine squared x, okay, um, plus 3 sine x, right, minus 2 is equal to 0. Now I can solve this. Mm -hmm. And my life is a little bit easier over here because all I need to do now is I can factorize this. I put 2 sine x over here, and I got sine x over there, okay. And then, uh, factors of 2, so I can have a 2 over there and a 1 over there. Um, and I can make that plus 2 and that minus 1, right? So this one, I multiply that, it gives me minus 2, that gives you 2 sine x. This gives you minus sine x plus 4 sine x, so that's correct. Okay, is equal to 0. Clearly over here, people, I can see that I'm going to f come up with two identities. The one is 2 sine x minus 1 is equal to 0. The other one is going to be sine x plus 2 equals 0. And that tells me that sine x has to equal to negative 2. Now, since sine x is bounded always between 1 and minus 1, it could be equal to. This solution over here that we find is invalid, right? So this here is not valid. Okay. Over here, on the other hand, I have sine x. Take the 1 over, divide by 2, I'm going to get sine x is equal to half. And therefore, the reference angle will be x equals, um, x is equal to sine second function of a half, right? And as we know, that has to be 30 degrees. And that's my reference angle. Now, I'm not going to go further because from here it should be trivially obvious. You need to then go and solve for this in the first and the second quadrant, and we've done this in previous videos. Good luck.